Hello, my relatives. Today is a good day. The hearts of our people are strong and we extend our hand in friendship. Today in the city of Albuquerque, New Mexico, they passed yesterday morning of a law declaring October 12th Indigenous Peoples Day in Albuquerque. In the city of Minneapolis, Minnesota, where the American Indian Movement was founded in 1968, they also have declared October 12th as Indigenous Peoples Day. Destroy a few myths of history. For example, we discovered Columbus. who were washed up on our shores, was sick, destitute, and wrapped in rags. And we nursed him back to health. And what was our thanks? But colonialism, racism, genocide, and relocation. He enslaved many Indians to go and collect gold for the Spanish. And to thank Indians, he took 36 Indians back with him and presented them to Queen Isabella as a gift for her slaves. So this is the history of Columbus. We know who we are. And so we launched this battle many years ago to try and educate the public about some of these myths of education. And we came up with the idea of turning this day into Indigenous Peoples Day, so that we could be recognized in the educational institutions of America, where we have been edited out of existence by the public school system throughout this hemisphere. It's time to reassert ourselves, to show that we too have an identity. We have a language, we have a culture, we have a defined territory, and we have the ability to trade with other nations. This means that we're nation, we're not tribe. That's international law. We have the right to be who we are. We have traditional government which governed ourselves long before the coming of the lost Italian. And so, ladies and gentlemen, today is a turning point in the history of this region. You see before you the representatives of this area and the students and the faculty and the board of directors and the regents, whenever you're walking around this campus and you're kicking up the dust of the ancestors of these great people you see before you. So our people do deserve their rightful place in the curriculum of education in America. And we come here to remind people that we were not stopped. We have over 35 Indian colleges. One right not too far from here used to be in Sacramento. And one of our dream is to rebuild that DQ University. To reflect the partnership, to reflect the coming together of the condor and the eagle. Where our relatives from the south who are faced with the wall, the largest wall in the history since the Great Wall of China. But when white Americans came here to this country, the country of France gave to them a statue to welcome them into New York Harbor. It says, give me your tired, your hungry, your huddled masses yearning to be free. It's called the Statue of Liberty. So to us indigenous people of North America, there is no immigrants, there is no illegal aliens, because heroin is illegal and E.T. was an alien. These are our relatives from the South, the red man of the Western Hemisphere. Our medicine people tell us there's a sleeping red giant, that over 80 million indigenous people exist below the border of U.S. and Mexico. We're all indigena, indigenous. And our role as International Indian Treaty Council, American Indian Movement, is to build that partnership, that brotherhood, 
that understanding that we are indigenous people. We're not an insignificant minority buried in the election polls of the United States. We are indeed an indigenous people who are building our unity and our strength, not only economically, but also politically. And your recognition here today as a community of the indigenous people is the beginning of a new life, a new relationship, a new reality for the non-Indian and the Indian of this area.